नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू चैनल टर्निंग पॉइंट आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर ऑल राइट समटाइम्स वी पब्लिश अ पेपर इन अ स्कोपस इंडेक्स जर्नल बाय पुटिंग लॉट ऑफ एफर्ट्स बट आफ्टर अ फ्यू वीक्स दैट पेपर इज रिमूव फ्रॉम द स्कोपस लिस्ट एंड देन वी गेट डिप्रेस्ड सो हाउ टू ओवरकम दैट सिचुएशन इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ यू कैन शो दैट योर पेपर वॉज स्कोपस इंडेक्सड वेन इट वॉज पब्लिश्ड यू कैन शो द ईयर और टाइम of its publication in today's video we'll going to discuss about this in detail so without any further delay let's start the video first of all in the google we'll write scopus or we can write the site name as scopus.com so i'm going to click the first line scopus the site has been opened then first of all i'll tell you how we can check that a particular journal is scopus indexed or not then you need to click on sources Here you can check either by subject area or title or publisher or ISSN number. So I'm going to search by using the title. That means you need to give the journal name, journal title. Let's suppose I'm going to search about the journal Webology. Now I'll click on Find Sources. You can see that this journal exists in the Scopus Index list. Webology. This is an open access journal. However, it is written not applicable under all the heads over here, like site score, highest percentile, citations, documents, etc. That means we are unsure that whether this journal is continued in the Scopus list or not. For that, you can click on Download Scopus Source List. Just click on it. It will give you two options: Download the Scopus Source Title List. It will give you the entire list. of journals download the source title list there are two options and the another one is download the book title list i'll click on source title list so it has been downloaded you can click on the downloads over here just open the file it's an excel file where the list of all the journals will be given it's a huge file which contains all the journals which are scopus indexed i'll click on enable editing now the file is open let me zoom in the screen you can see that the first column is source record id that means journal id source title means journal name these are its issn numbers print issn and electronic issn this field is very important that is active or inactive this will tell you the status of the journal that whether it is active or inactive and then coverage that means on which years that journal was active you can see that about this journal grh it is active in 2023 you can see about the next journal like skin research it is active in 1959 to 2001 similarly there are various columns about the journal now the main topic of the video is to find out whether a particular journal is active or not and at which period it was active It means these two fields are of important to us as i was searching webology journal let's find out the journal webology hit enter you can see here this journal is in the list but if i check about its status it is showing inactive you can see from here it is inactive but it was active during 2006 to 2021 you can see from here if i click on the next column discontinued by scopus that means if your paper was published in this journal or in such journal then you can show that it was active during the year 2006 to 2021 that means if your paper was published during 2020 2019 or up to 21 you can show to your mentor supervisor or your senior that when it was published it it was scopus indexed so you don't need to worry about that time period but if your paper was published after 21 then you need to worry because after 21 it was discontinued by the scopus so this way you can check whether your journal was in scopus listing or not by downloading the complete file from the scopus site moreover on the paper the year and month of publication is mentioned so by cross varying from there 
you can justify your answer i hope you found this video well and it will be beneficial and helpful to you and if you want to know about how to write a very good synopsis in an efficient manner then you can click on this video and if you want to various kinds of multidisciplinary journals then you can click on this video thank you friends thank you so much